Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming to tonight's contest between the, between the Biglerville Canners and your Peckway Valley Braves. As a member school of the Lancaster Lebanon League, we would like to welcome you to today's contest. We sincerely hope your visit will be enjoyable. We ask that you remember the rules of good sportsmanship and your consideration of the athletes, cheerleaders, officials, and other fans. Actions meant to demean opposing players, teams, spectators, and officials will not be tolerated. Our school has endorsed and will enforce the Lancaster Lebanon participant and spectator behavior policies. Consequently, unruly behavior and offensive language will not be tolerated and are reasons for removal from the premises. We would like to remind you that the playing surface is reserved for the teams, coaches, and officials only. We ask that at the conclusion of today's contest, you refrain from entering the playing area. In a commitment to ensure a healthy, comfortable, and productive environment, our school has, in effect, a drug-free and tobacco-free policy. This policy forbids the use of any tobacco products by students, staff, and visitors on school property and at all school activities. Finally, on behalf of the Peckway Valley Administration, teaching and coaching staffs, we're thankful you're here. We hope you enjoy this evening's contest. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise and remove your hats as we honor America 
and all those who are serving and who have served our country with the playing of the national anthem by our own high school marching band. Number eight, Tavion McAuliffe is kicking off for the Canners. Back to receive for the Braves are number 24, Trevor Vollmer. And number 17, Excuse me, number 12, Caden Carter, step back to receive along with Trevor Vollmer. Bomer on the return, takes it all the way up to the 27-yard line. First and 10 breaks. Long, number five hands off to number 21, Jimmy Neff. On that tackle was number nine, Mandon Taylor. The second and about two for the Braves. A handoff with the number 11, Jordan Stauffer. And that'll pick up a Braves first down, first and 10 from their own 37. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hand off to 21, Jimmy Neff, for a gain of about five. Tackled by number 55, Jaden Jackson. Brings up about a second and five for the Braves. Number 11 takes the counter to the right. Jordan Stauffer picks up a big game for the Braves. They'll give him a first down. There is a flag on the field. There's a holding penalty on the Braves. Puts the ball back at about the 34-yard line. It'll be second and about 16 now. Number 27, Drew Tibbins on the carry, picks up about 14 on that play. Good run, two seven, good run. It'll be a third and about two for the Braves. Carry up the middle by number 21, Jimmy Neff, and that's enough for a breeze. First down. Tippins right up the middle for about a six yard gain. Stauffer on the carry, takes it a few yards.
About third and two for the Braves. Timeout is taken by Pequay Valley. Six minutes, 43 seconds left in the first quarter. That's the first down for the Braves, carried by number 24, Trevor Homer. Tackled by number 63, Gabriel Halliball. Jordan Stauffer on the carry there. Keep it up, Paul Lloyd! You're doing great! <laughs> Brings up a second and five for the Braves. On third and three, Furlong is sacked by number five, Hayden Hoffman. So now it'll be fourth, fourth down for the Braves.
There is a flag on the field, far side. So after that penalty, it's about third and nine for the Braves. Furlong on the keep takes it all the way up to the Tanner's 35-yard line. We'll bring up fourth down for the Braves. Brought down by number three, Brody Conrad. Furlong's pass was intercepted by number two, Tyler Spadaccino. And the Canners will have a first and ten from their own 30-yard line. Number seven, Bo Forty, is taken down by number 70 on the Braves, Gray Langford. Pick up of about one on the play for the Canners. It'll be second and nine. Forney's pass is complete to number three, Brody Conrad. Looks like it'll bring up. Uh, well, that was that was enough for a first half. The first and ten, Kansas. Pass is complete to number eight, Kadeon McCollin. Tackle was made by, by number 12, Kaden Carter. That's good enough for a first down for the Canners. Looks like they'll have first and 10 from the Braves' 46-yard line.
Pass intended for number two, Tyler Spadacino, is broken up by number 24, Trevor Homer. Second down for the Canners. Courtney's pass is complete to number three, Brody Conrad. Brought down by Jordan Stauffer, number 11 for the Braves. Also in on the tackle was number 27, Drew Tibbetts. That pass completion gave the Canners uh, another first down. They'll have a first and 10 from the Braves, 32, with 40 seconds left in the first quarter. Handoff to number nine, Landon Taylor. Takes it forward for a couple yards. Met by a group of Braves, led by number 27, Drew Tibbins. Brings up a second and about seven. Forney on the keeper, brought down by Drew Tibbins and number 21, Jimmy Heck. Timeout taken by Biglerville. The Pequay Valley Music Boosters invite you to the Fry Shack. Located in the southeast corner of the stadium, the Fry Shack 
has all your dinner needs. Fresh hand-cut fries and chicken tenders make the perfect combo to enjoy during tonight's Peckway Valley Braves football game. You can upgrade your dinner to a Braves meal by adding a hand-spun milkshake, chocolate vanilla, or the band's favorite, cookies and cream. Also, check out the new menu item, comparable to the Golden Arches. There is fried apple pies. Corny's pass is tipped by number 24, Trevor Vollmer. It's going to be fourth and about 10 for the Canners. Corny on the keep is brought down by number 27, Drew Tibbins. And the Braves will take over on down. Looks like the Braves will start at their own 32-yard line. And off the stopper, brought down by Tyler Spadaccino, number two for the Canners. That was a gain of about seven for Stauffer, so it'll bring up a second and three for the Braves. Ball set at the 39-yard line. And off to Trevor Vollmer, who takes it forward for a huge gain. First down, Braves. Ball will be spotted at the Canners' 47-yard line. Number eight, Tavion McAuliffe. And number five, Aiden Hoffman, were in on that tackle. First and 10 for the Braves from the 47. Ball is handed off to number 21, Jimmy Neff. Picks up another Peckway Valley first down. Tyler Spadaccino and number six, Noah Fulton in on that tackle. First and 10 Braves from the Canners 30. Oh, 
Handoff was to number 30, Jose Santiago. Tavion McAuliffe, number eight, and number 71, Kyle McGarry, were in on that tackle. Brings up a second and about seven. Paul start is called on the brace. That'll take him back five yards. Still be second down. Penalty on the Braves. Ball's now spotted at the Kenner's 42. Still second down. Santiago on the carry, brought down by Aiden Hoffman. There is a flag on the play. Looks like a face mask was called on Biglerville. Off to Jimmy and Ness takes it forward for a huge game. Brought down by number 54, Tyson Taylor. And that'll be enough for a Braves first down. The ball is spotted at the Canners 14. Timeout called by Peckway Valley. Hey, how about a round of applause for our awesome cheerleaders tonight? Our freshman cheerleaders are Addison Slaymaker and Danielle Arment. Sophomores are Sage Gray, Lily McDonald, Mackenzie Purley, Leah Ray. Devante Robertson, Sierra Langston, and Nevea Wiggins. Our junior cheerleaders are Cheyenne Armit, Kimmy Baez, Brooke Reed, Savannah Thomas, and Amy Wilkinson. And our seniors, co captains, Mariah Kaufman. And Jordan Ray and Captains Ellie Baldwin and Olivia Berelich. Give it up for our awesome cheerleaders.
Jordan Stauffer runs it in for the touchdown. Hayden Leach is in the kick for the Braves. Holding for the Braves is number 17. Number 12, I'm sorry, Hayden Carter. The ball is spotted, the kick is up, and it is good. There is a flag on the play. Roughing the kicker called on the counter. That penalty will be declined. And the kick is good. Step back to receive for the Canners are number five, Aiden Hoffman, and number eight, KV on the Calais. Peyton Leach, number 36 for the Braves, is getting set up to kick off. The previous penalty was assessed on the kickoff, so Peyton will be kicking from the Canners 45. That kick will be a touchback. It'll come out to the 20 for Big LaVille. Flag on the play. <laughs> that five-yard penalty will back Big Liberal up to a 15. It'll still be first down for the can Canners. Pass intended to number two, Tyler Spadaccino is incomplete. Caden Carter, number 12, was in on that play. 
be second and 15 for the Canners. Pass is complete to Brody Conrad. Jimmy Neff in on that play with the push out of bounds. That pass completion was enough for a first down for Biglerville. They'll have a first and 10 from their own 32. Option to number six, Noah Fulton. Push out of bounds by Hayden Carter. The pickup of pick up of about three on the play. Bring up a second and about seven for the Canners. Call start called on Biglerville, taken back five yards. Yeah, second and about 12. is completed to Brody Conrad. In on that tackle is number 66, Logan McGrain. Oh boy, McGrain! Brings up a third down for Biglerville. Looks like it'll be third and about nine. Pass intended for number three, Brody Conrad, is incomplete. Broken up by that, uh, on that play was number 21, Jimmy Neff. Fourth down, number eight, Tavion McCullough is set back to punt. For the Canners, to receive for the Braves is Trevor Vollmer, number 24. That punt rolls out of bounds near the 40-yard line, and the Braves will have a first and 10 at their own 40, with about six minutes and three seconds left in the half. Oh, I don't want to hear your 
whistle blew. He's whistle down by blew. Whistle blew already. There's a fumble on the play, and it's recovered by the Canners. Pass is complete to number eight, Kavia McAuliffe. Tackle was made by number 27, Drew Tibbins. Second down for the Canners. If you're interested in scores around the area, right now Anvil Cleona is up on Hanover 20 to nothing after the first quarter. The Kala on the completion. Brought down by Caden Carter, number 12. That pass completion was enough for a canner's first down. It'll be first and ten from the Braves twenty-two. Pass intended for McCullough is Incomplete is broken up by Bishop the Shields. Number three. Second down, Big Laville. Looks like a legal procedure against Figlerville and I move him back five. Still second down. Pass intended for number 23, Gavin Althoff. Broken up by number 24, Trevor Vollmer. Third down and about 15 for the Canners. Pass intended for McCullough is overthrown and incomplete. It'll bring up a fourth down for Big Laville. Caden Carter was in on that coverage. Thank <laughs> you. 
That pass is completed to number eight, Kadeon McAuliffe, but he's tackled short of the first down. Braves will take over on downs. Number 27, Drew Tibbins is in on that coverage. First and 10 Braves. Looks like the ball is going to be spotted at the Braves 21. Jordan Stauffer on that carry for a short game. Brought down by number six, Noah Fulton. Second down, Braves. Number 27 on the counter, Drew Tibbins runs it for a first down for the Braves. In on that last tackle was number 89, Braden Pierce. First and 10 Braves from the 34. Number 25 was in on that tackle for Biglerville, Gabriel Fry. Second and about 13 for the Braves. There's a timeout on the field taken by Biglerville.
That tackle was made by number 58, Chase Logan. On the return was number 5, Aiden Hoffman. And Peyton Leach was the punter for the Braves. It'll be a first and 10 for Biglerville with a minute 45 left in the half. Pass intended for McAuliffe is broken up by number 21, Jimmy. Next, second down, Biglerville. Pass is complete to number eight. Baby on the collar. Brought down by number 21, Jimmy Neff. The pressure landed. Good pressure. Brings up a third down for Big Liville. Pass is complete to McCullough. That'll be enough for a canner's first down. Pushed out by number 31, Anthony Stoltzfus. Forney's pass is completed to number 81, Cody Johnson. Second down, Canners. There's a fumble on the play. Tackle made by number eight, Michael Patterson.
Corny pass is complete to number two, Spadaccino. Pushed out by, pushed out of bounds by number 24, Trevor Vollmer. It's going to be fourth down for the Canners. Another uh, timeout taken on the field. Here we go, fourth and about six for the Canners. 23 seconds left in the half. Forty's pass is complete to number five, Aiden Hoffman for the touchdown. In to kick for the Canners is number 32, Tyler Wolf. Holding is 21, Caden Kessel. The kick is up. The kick is good. There is a flag on the play. Personal foul is called on the brace, so the kick will be good. We've got a 7-7 seven to seven ball game. 17 seconds left in the half. Aiden Carter, number 12, and Trevor Vollmer, number 24, set back to receive for the Braves, taking off from uh, the Braves' 
45 because of the penalty assessed on the extra point will be kicked by number eight, Tavion McCullough. And that ball goes into the end zone. That'll be a touchback. Braves will have a first and 10 from their own 20. And with that kneel down, that will let the clock run out. That'll be the end of the first half. Tanners with seven and your Braves with seven. Got a great game tonight, folks. Enjoy the halftime show coming up from the Pepper Valley High School marching band. The Peckway Valley Marching Band is proud to present its 2023 field show, Breaking Ground, featuring music by the groundbreaking artists Harry Styles, Billie Eilish, and Lizzo. The band is under the direction of Mr. Rob Ferreo and Mr. Michael Eckersley. The Color Guard routine designer and instructor is Mrs. Jennifer Bilby, and the field show was designed and written by Mr. Ryan Kariba. The official band t-shirt was created by Junior Maddie Everin. The PPHS marching band is proudly led on the field by senior drum major Kylie Worrell and junior drum major Maddie Everin. Our drum majors bring 10 years of experience, dedication, and a street day core to our marching unit under their direction. The Pequay Valley marching band would like to thank our band parents, staff, volunteers, the high school administration and the Pequay Valley School Board for all of their support this season. Drum majors, are your braids ready? Pequay Valley Marching Band, you may take the field for your halftime presentation.
Folks, please don't forget to support our athletics and music programs by purchasing food and drinks and lots of yummy treats over there at Jackie's Place and also the uh, Music Boosters Fry Shack all on the east side of the field over by the bathrooms. Go and enjoy some great food over there and support our athletic and music programs. Got a little under three minutes here until our second half is underway. Second half is just about underway. Peyton Leach is getting set to kick off for the Braves. Back to receive for Biglerville. First return is taken by number eight. John McAuliffe. Tackle made by number eight, Michael Patterson. First and ten, Biglerville. Thank you. 
Check one, check, check. Second and ten, Biglerville, ball on the 33. Hand off to number six, Noah Fulton is tackled by number 12, Caden Carter for a loss. It'll bring up third down for the Canners. Third and 11 for Biglerville. That pass is complete to Tavion McCulloch. Trevor Volmer was in on that coverage. That'll give the Canners a first down from their own 47 yard line, 48 yard line. That pass is complete to number six, Noah Fulton. There was a fumble on the play, and the ball went out of bounds. So Big Liberal will maintain possession. And that'll give the Canners a first down with the ball on the Braves 40. First and 10 at Big Liberal. Pass intended for Brody Conrad, number three. Falls incomplete. intended for McAuliffe. That pass was broken up by number 66, Logan McGrain. Third down, Big Laville from the Braves 40. Pass intended for Aiden Hoffman, number five. Broken up by Caden Carter for the Braves. It'll be a fourth down for Big Lerville. Coming into punt is number eight, TV on McCullough. For the Canners, back to receive number 24, Trevor Volmer. Right. 
There was a fake punt pass intended for number two, Tyler Sadichino, but it falls incomplete, and the Braves will take over on downs. It'll be a first and ten from the Braves' 40. Boomer on the carry. Picks up a gain of about five. Push out of bounds by number nine, Landon Taylor. Furlong on the keep. Brought down by number five, Aiden Hoffman. Gain of about one on that play. It'll bring up third down to the Braves. Ball spotted at the Braves, 46. Picks up a first down for the Braves. Spadachino, number two, pushed him out of bounds. Leading the run there was number 21, Jimmy Neff. First and 10 Braves from Biglerville. 38 yard line. Carter on the carry. Picks up a short gain on that play. Number 53 in on the stop. Sorry, that was 63. Gabriel Hollaball was in on that stop. It'll be second down and about nine for the Braves. Counter play there. To number 27, Drew Tibbet. Takes it forward for a first down for the Braves. Noah Fulton, number six, and Aiden Hoffman, number five, were in on that stop. 
It's a first and ten Braves from the Canners 19 yard line. Tyson Taylor, number 54, and number three, Bertie Conrad, were in on that stop. Drew Tibbins was on that carry. There's a loss of about five on that play. It'll be second and about 15 for the Braves. Ball is now spotted at the 25. Buskers' sack by number three, Brody Conrad. Now to bring up a third and long for the Braves. Ball is now spotted at the 32. Flag on the play. Looks like an illegal shift was called on the brakes. That penalty was declined, so that'll be a fourth down now for the brakes. Peyton Leach into punt, number 36 for the Braves. Back to receive for the Canners is number 8, Tavion McCullough. Leach's punt is tipped. And rolls out of bounds at about the 30-yard line. Canners will have the first down starting at about their 30-yard line. Six minutes left in the third quarter.
Cast intended for number 23, Gavin Althoff. It's incomplete. Bring up second down for the Canners. Pass intended for Tyler Wolf, number three. Intended for Tyler Wolf, number 32. Play was uh, broken up by number 21, Jimmy Nett. Pass is picked off by number three, Bishop the Shields. And the Braves will have a fresh set of downs at their own 47. Ladies and gentlemen, just a quick announcement that the bathrooms over on the east side of the field are now closed. Uh, if you need to use the restroom, you're welcome to use the fitness center right inside of the high school. Those bathrooms will be open for you. The high school uh, fitness center has bathrooms that you are welcome to use if needed. The bathrooms at the field here have now been closed. Bomer on the carry there, burst forward for a huge gain. Second and about four for the Braves. The ball is now spotted at Biglerville's 46. Hayden Carter, number 12 on the carry around the left side. Gets enough for a first down for the Braves. Pushed out of bounds there by number four, Kyler Johnson. First and 10 Braves at the Canners 38. Another run by Katie Carter. Takes it down for another first down. There is a flag on the field. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hand off to number 24, Trevor Bomer. Picks up about five, tackled by number six, Noah Fulton. Bomer on the carry. It's close to the first down. And that is a first down for the Braves. Ball will be spotted at the 27. Drew Tibbins on the carry, brought down by a host of canners, defenders. Looks like, looks like third down now and about 13. And there's a timeout taken by Petway Valley. Hey, if there's any Phillies fans out there, the Phillies are currently winning 5-2 to two against the St. Louis Cardinals in the bottom of the sixth.
Alec Bohm hit his career-high 13th homer of the season, giving the Phillies a 5-2 lead in the sixth. And the Phillies have hit an MLB best 44 homers this month. They're on fire right now. Pass intended for number 12, Katie Carter falls incomplete in the end zone. There is a flag thrown on the field, but there is a penalty on that play. It'll be against the Braves. That penalty was declined by Big Laville, so that'll bring up fourth down for the Braves. Tippins on that carry. Come on! Looks like there's a holding call. Holding penalty against the Braves. And that's going to bring that run back. It looks like the punt team is coming on for the Braves. Peyton Leach is going to get set to, to kick. And... The Collip will be back to receive. Leach's punch goes all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Bigleville will start at their own 20 with a minute 28 left in the third quarter. Still a tie game tonight. Penalty called on the Tanners. Going to back them up five yards. And so it'll be first and 15 now. Keeper. 
Picks up about five on the play. Ashton Martin, number 13, was in on that tackle. He's second and 10 for the Canners. Corny's pass is complete to number five, Aiden Hoffman. He's brought down by number 66, Logan McGrain. That pass completion will be enough for a first down for the Canners. It'll be first and 10 from about their 30 yard line. Has a complete to number five, Aiden. Often brought out of bounds, has some missed field. Tackle was made by number 15, Adam Schultz. It's going to be first down now from the Braves 49. Pass is complete to McCullough. Brought down by the Shields and Drew Tibbins. And with that play, that play will take us to the end of the third quarter. Still a seven to seven ball game. LS is currently up 31 to 7 over Solanco in the third quarter. Ephrata is up 34 to 20 over Redland. Cacalico has 14, Warwick has 7 with 148 left in the third quarter. And Dallas Town has 14 against Hempfield, who has 10 at the end of three. Anvil is beating Hanover 40 to 12. And that's all we have for now as far as scores around the league.
There's a bobbled snap there. Recovered by number seven, Bo Forty. Quick announcement, folks. Uh, these food items are half off right now down at the snack bar. Pizza, hot dogs, corn dogs, popcorn, and pretzels. All of those items are currently being sold at half price. So go get yourself some pizza, hot dogs, corn dogs, popcorn, and pretzels for half the price. Down at Jackie's Place, the snack bar. Thanks for supporting our athletic and music programs here at Pequa Valley. Trevor Hoffman with a nice return, number 24. He's taken out at about the 28-yard line. It better be on sports with like defense! Folks, just a quick announcement. If you are riding the shuttle, if you parked up at the intermediate school, uh, just a reminder that the shuttle will be available for 15 minutes after the game ends. So once the clock hits zero, uh, you'll have 15 minutes to go back to where you were dropped off by the shuttle to get back onto the shuttle and uh, head back up to the intermediate school. So, uh, yeah, about 15 minutes after the game. Looks like there's a personal foul called against Biglerville and the Braves. So those penalties should offset. Fabian McAuliffe's kick rolls out of bounds at about the 28-yard line. So the Braves will take over on downs there at about the 28. Number 21, Jimmy Neff on the carry. Picks up about six on the play. Picks it up to the Braves 35. It'll be second down and about three. Thank you. 
Neff on the carry again. Brings it up close to the first down. Looks like that is a first down for the Braves. The Braves will have a first and 10 from their own 39. Bomer on the carry picks up about three. On that tackle was number 54, Tyson Taylor. Drew Tibbins on the carry. Brought down by number nine, Landon Taylor. The ball's going to be spotted. Just a couple inches short of the first down marker. That'll be third, third and about one for the Braves. Jimmy Neff plows forward for the first down. Tackle was made by number 55, Jaden Jackson. And the Braves are on the move at Biglerville's 48. With a little over seven minutes left to play in this game. There's a fumble on the play, picked up by Bulmer, who was tackled in the backfield for a loss. It'll be second and about 13 for the Braves from their own 49. Bomer on the carry, brought down by number six, Noah Fulton. It's going to be third and about 15 now for the Braves. An illegal player downfield is called against the Braves. Yeah. 
That illegal man downfield penalty will be declined by Biglerville, which brings up fourth down now for the Braves. And Leach comes in to set up the punt. Back to receive. Number eight, Kavion McCullough. And number five, Aiden Hoffman. Call up on the return. That tackle was made by number 31, Anthony Stoltzus. And Biglerville will have a first and 10 from their own 47. Come on, defense, let's go! That pass was intended for number five, Aiden Hoffman. It falls incomplete. Second down for the Canners. Brandon Taylor on the option. That tackle was made by Jimmy Neff. It'll be second down and about three for the Canners. Landon Taylor, number nine on the carry, brought down by Logan McGrain. It'll be third down now for the Canners. Third and short. Thank you. 
That handoff was to number six, Noah Fulton. Tackled by Jeremiah Garber, number 63 for the Braves. And it looks like it's going to be fourth and about one for the Canners. And short of the first down. The Braves will take over on down. With a minute 42 left to play. That's a complete to Ness. Picked up about two. There is a flag on the play on the other side of the field. So that penalty will take the Braves back five yards. It'll be first and 15. There's a fumble on the play, and number 11, Caleb Trimmer, picks up the ball in the end zone for a touchdown. Braden Griffey's kick is up and good.
Bomber on the return. There's a penalty on the play. Personal foul is called face mask on Big Laville. So that'll likely be a 15 yard penalty. So the Braves will get started at their own 47. That pass play was broken up by number 63, Gabriel Hollaball. Second down, Braves. Timeouts taken by the Braves.
pass from Saltus is broken up by number three, Brody Conrad. Looks like an incomplete pass was called on the field. So it'll now be fourth and about 15 for the Braves. Good play there by number six, Noah Fulton, to break up that pass. Fourth down for the Braves from their own 42. There was a timeout called in the field, and there's 20 seconds left on the clock.
And with that kneel down, that will let the clock run out. Thank you all for coming tonight to this game. Hope you had a great time. Just want to remind you that if you rode the shuttle from the intermediate school, that you now have 15 minutes to get back on that shuttle, to get back up to your car at the intermediate school. So if you're riding the shuttle, please head over to that area at this time. Have a great weekend, everybody. Safe travels home tonight. Great game tonight between the Canners and the Braves. So yeah, I lose the door and I went I went and got checked out. Hey Mark. Hey, uh, hey Justin. <laughs> I went and got it checked out and there, they found nodules like on the nodule boards. And and I kept going back and I just disappeared. It's time to do it. It's like blasting out. I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, I'm like, no, no. I don't know. We're like, we're like this, we start I don't want the mic. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm trying, I'm going to go back and get a check out. They went away. They're not just yeah. And they told me that I was in the. Uh, I'm I'm back way, Ray! 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 It's like He's like, I've been doing this for 30 years. He's like, I've been doing this for 30 years. I'd like you to go get studied at FM College under under my mentor. I'm like, I don't want to be a time for I didn't either. I didn't either. So I'm gonna go get a check out again. It's been just like weak and and I wanna sing, so yeah, like, I wanna like, do stuff, you know. And Mark's asking me like to do that thing that you did with him on Saturday. So thank you. Thank you. I know, I know. Yes, yes. But doctors and God for sure. I'll go I'll go both ways. Both ways. <laughs> Uh, all right, man. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Thank you. I, I feel okay. It's just a bump. A bump. I can't see it. Yeah. Uh, I know. I know. <laughs> it is the worst thing to tell. Thank you. All right, have a good one. No! I did. I was over there. Right now? I'm like, what do you mean? Who's over there? Oh, 
I texted you. I said if you didn't see because you were busy. It's fine. I won't be mad at you this time. Yeah. I was trying to ask, and then she said no. We just always do it in the red zone. So red zone, always red zone. It's okay. Always red zone. Ah, uh, my mother. Yeah, I'll send you it. Uh, okay, yeah. Michael's not happy. <laughs> Saw him tackle a guy down. Oh, I was like, mm. okay, okay. Well, right. there you go. Goodbye, Baker. DJ, that's what I do. I don't
I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. What do you mean? You can see me.